Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another lesson on the GeoFS Flight Simulator. Fun, online, and free. My friends, let's get cracking. I will have a link in the description, but of course, you just type GeoFS and you can get to the simulator. Mine launched in the air and I am crashing like crazy. I am going to hit OK on this little warning at the bottom. And I'm going to make sure that I start mine in my own special spot. All right, friends, so for today's flight, let's stick with the keyboard. So make sure you've got your keyboard set for what you're flying with. Close that once you're done. We already worked on those keyboard commands. If not, you can watch that video. I will put a link up here if you need to get back to that video. I want to pick a different aircraft. Today I want to use a Cessna. I'm going to pick a different location. I'm going to use the Grand Canyon just because it's cool. And then remember, it puts us behind the plane, and this is actually kind of cool for our first look because you can actually see when you do the elevators. So right now, all I'm doing is the up and the down key, and you can see the elevators on the back changing my pitch. Because we have the mix set for the rudder and the ailerons, when we tap the arrow keys, you can see that it rolls our airplane left or right gently and actually still keeps us in control. This is a much easier way to learn how to fly when you're first starting out. Right now I'm going to change my pitch, so I'm diving down into the Grand Canyon. I don't want to dive too fast, so remember it is always less is more when you do these adjustments. That way you can stay in control. If you're looking at your controls on the screen, the left one is your airspeed. You can see that right now I'm at 80 knots. If I do my pitch towards the ground, that increases and it becomes quicker, which of course makes it less easy to control. My altitude is about 7,700 feet. You can see that with the two hands. That is the third dial. And then the vertical speed is how fast you're dipping towards the ground. Now right now I just did the left arrow, so that puts me in a bit of a roll, and I come around and get a good look at the Grand Canyon. Using these techniques you can view all kinds of places. Um, it is a lot of fun to explore and get a look at the cool scenery that is built into this awesome simulator. Uh, I am trying to just get you started so that you explore and then in the comments you can share the cool things that you find that I should be teaching. There are lots of places you can go. There are so many cool bits of scenery and there are so many airplanes you can experiment with. If you want to try the different kind of controls, you can try using the mouse. I found the mouse tricky. Right now I'm going to hit pause and I'm going to switch to cockpit view. By switching these cameras you can go all kinds of cool ways instead of being outside. Now when I hit play, I'm gonna let it catch up. So here's my P for pause. And you get the view from inside the aircraft instead of from the outside. Once again, I'm just tapping arrow keys as I take a look. You can explore and find out which one you think is most awesome. And you can also find out which place that you can fly to is most awesome. I'm going to try and dip right down into the canyon. Still able to see the controls. Notice I'm up over 120 knots as I'm diving into the canyon. My pitch is aimed low, so that helps me increase the speed, but I gotta also make sure I stay in control. Less is more on the keys. I cannot emphasize that enough. And I'm gonna end this video right here. I've made it down in, and I'm happy with that, and then I can just keep exploring and become more and more talented as a flyer. All right, friends, I hope you had a ton of fun. I certainly enjoy flying with these free flight simulators. It is even fun when you stick it in the ground like that. 
My friends, if you enjoyed the tutorial, please hit the like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.